guys welcome back not alex actually telling Perry that sissy's fan base is made up of bitter women bitter women that their men broke up with them or left them for another woman and instead of them to look inwards to why their man left they are angry with the man and the other girl i don't know the narrative that alex wants to create at this point but she's still going back to 2018 during the pepperdem because this is her saying that oh um cc is still bitter because of toby instead of her to look inwards to changing her character she's angry at her alex that is the simple truth i think now that we know who is really propelling this negativity Pere came to have a conversation with sissy she, he was like oh sissy come let's yeah and i want to tell you something and sissy was like no i am closed for the day i cannot have a conversation with you then Pere went to alex and alex welcomed him with open arms while saying all the negative things that Alex said about CC and her fan base. Guys, you all know if you're a Spartan watching this, you all know that you guys have to triple your your efforts and vote and vote tirelessly. Anyway, um Pere now sent Cross to have the conversation with CC and CC just expressed how she can see that Pere is playing games and wants nothing to do with it. Like CC said that I know Pere wants to use me and Alex to play his game, but I'm not going to be a party to that game. CC also made it clear that she is not going to have any conversation again with Pere because the last time she tried to sort things out with Pere, that Pere mind was not in the conversation they were having, that he he was busy talking to the camera that he just want to put a narrative out there or put a kind of um you know agenda out there that she has discovered that Pere is really playing games with her and Alice and she will have nothing to do with it mind you that Alice also told Pere that her team warned her before she came into the house that if Sissy will be in the house that Sissy will have three agendas that Sissy would like to make peace with her so that she will change the narrative of the 2018 or Sissy will try to come back with a negative narrative I don't even know what Alice was saying but at this point we know who the problem is coming from who is still engineering the negativity and all that because if Alice says that her and Sissy were cordial and friends outside the house and her Alex really wants peace to reign. Why then do she have a problem with Sissy being nice to her to change the narrative of 2018? I wish Sissy can just ignore everything that is even happening and just, you know, be herself. I really even trust that girl to be herself. And to come to think of it, the Sissy I know have no pressure to change any narrative about her. The game of uh, Double Wahala was five years ago and that supposed narrative ain't her deals. Like it ain't her massive deals, endorsements and all that, big endorsements for that matter. So the whole argument of um, um, Alex um, team warning her about CC wanting peace, about CC changing the narrative with her and all that. Alex is making it seem that she is the only one that has the key of cc changing the, the negative narrative of the bitter woman that she was in 2018 that without her alice cc cannot change that negative narrative that people have about her that she's a bitter woman okay and alice is saying that i am the only one that can give her that you know peace of mind or that change the whole narrative and all that but sissy don't even want to change any narrative in the first place so i think with or without alex everybody will be fine with or without sissy everybody will be fine i think these two girls should just ignore themselves at this point because the constant back and forth about all these things and pere you know getting himself in the mix and in the middle of the whole thing is really messed up because i know that pere will want pere don't care about any of them i must tell you him even telling alex oh after the house i'm going to glue myself to you i'm going to take you to america i'm going to do this do that do, like seriously haven't you seen alex outside the house why didn't you approach her if you so much love her 
initially. So all these things are just game to me. And Pere will see your weakness and see where you are leaking. And Pere will poke you to the extent that you will get frustrated out of, out of the house. Because anything that has to do with Pere, it has to do with game. His money, his mind is in that money. And that's on period. Anyway, guys, um, moving forward, um, Neil and the sister Venita is having misunderstanding. In fact, Venita is angry with Neil that Neil did not save him. Like, Neil did not pardon him. Can you imagine the brother that she has been fighting for all this while, fighting Ilebaye, fighting V, fighting everybody, could not pardon him. And Neil was like, I am going to give, even though there is family ties between me and Venita, I am still going to give my pardon to the person that I know that have my loyalty at heart, and that is Tolani Batch. Oh my goodness. So, Neil left the sister to save Tolani Batch. Can you imagine that? And Venita is there, you know firing or thunder and brimstone that she's fighting for her brother and all that and the so-called brother that you want to collect strike and and want to get you evicted because everybody now have this whole narrative that she's a bully that same brother and not even you know do anything for you Anyway, guys, what is your thought about Alex saying that all Spartans, in fact, are made up of women, mostly women, and these women are bitter, these women are uh, women that uh, their men abandoned them and they are looking for revenge. They are just angry, bitter women that just come together to form the Spartans. If you're a Spartan, what do you feel about this, hearing this from Alex? And also let me know your thoughts and, and views about this Pere, Alex, and um, CC kind of situationship. All right. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up. Drop your views and thoughts about this video down the comment section. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the family. And then please don't forget to turn on your post notification to get all the latest info just about uh, your faves and the house. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Love you guys.